Okay, so tell me the truth. If you can grow an ice cream bean in your backyard, would you? Well, if you said yes, then uh, you should grow an ice cream bean in your backyard because that's what I did. Check it out. Okay, so we have a tree here today in my backyard called Inga Edelis. It's been here for 15 years or so. Uh, it makes this wonderful, beautiful, tropical foliage here. This is probably the ugliest time of year for this tree. It's the end of the winter. And, um, you know, usually it's actually a lot thicker than this. It's probably the worst I've ever seen this tree, actually. But, uh, but anyway, it'll start uh, flushing out new leaves here any minute. Like there's a new leaf coming along right there. But that's a real interesting leaf pattern, real tropical looking tree. Um, I didn't know it was going to get this big. Apparently they get even bigger. My wife's office is up there and I told her I think I should like really cut this tree down hard. And she freaked out and said, no, I love the way it looks. And it, it shades my office from the hot sun. So I guess I'll just let it go a little longer. Um, but uh, anyway, the cool thing about this tree, it's actually native to South America. It uh, grows uh, all the way up into Mexico a little bit. Oh, here you can see, see all the new buds coming out? So just like an avocado tree this time of year in March, it's going to probably, uh, you know, completely refoliate here soon. So a lot of trees are evergreen. Uh, they're really not evergreen. They're semi-deciduous, meaning like they lose a lot of their leaves. In fact, this one's kind of losing a lot of leaves right now. Um, they're partially deciduous, like right before they get new leaves. The new, with all the push of the new leaves will uh, kind of push off the old leaves. And that's a new bud right there. Um, but lots of things to say about this tree here. The leaves, in fact, these leaves can be uh, uh, kind of cooked down and made into a concoction that can treat diarrhea. Like, you know, if you're going to go to Mexico, well, I won't say anything. No. So just know that if you're in Mexico and, well, you need a treatment for diarrhea, you can look for one of these Inga Edelis trees and uh, boil some leaves down and do whatever they do and uh, maybe try that. But uh, also, um, it also can make, you can turn it into a lotion that can treat arthritis. Now, of course, I haven't tried those things. And whatever I say about medicinal uses of plants, this is just what they say in the books. So I don't really <laughs> try too many of these things. But I do uh, eat the edible fruit inside the seed pods, which are located right here. Here's a typical seed pod off the tree. Um, let me tell you why. They call it the, um, tell you why they call it the, uh, I'm gonna get a rock. Here's my tripod. I'm just a wing it guy. And I'll show you uh, what we have inside the seed pod. Where'd the seed pod go? Here it is. Here's another one too. Oh, here's another one. They're all over the ground. So what you wanna do is bust open the seed pod. And uh, sometimes you can do it with your hand I won't have to use my mouth. <laughs> That's a last resort. Okay, now look inside here. Look how pretty this is. It's absolutely gorgeous. You have these black seeds uh, that are in here. And what you do is you pull this out. You don't eat the seeds. Actually, the seeds you can boil down and cook. And um, they will actually, uh, down in Mexico, apparently, they, they serve these things roasted. And they sell them. It's a delicacy. The actual black seed but what we are after right now is the uh the pulp surrounding the seed here's the seed it's really beautiful it's actually germinating in the in the seed pod but this is the part that's the part you really want to eat right there and it's really good that's the part that they call uh the uh ice cream bean um and uh well it actually doesn't really taste like it tastes like vanilla a little bit, but to me, it looks and tastes remarkably like um, cotton candy. And so that's, that's, I would call it the cotton candy tree, not the ice cream bean, personally. But I'm going to take this and show it to you. So, uh, so there it is. Beautiful seed pod on the middle there. This is actually in the uh, legume family. I plant in the legume family have a remarkable quality about being able to take in nitrogen from the atmosphere, which is, I don't know how much a percentage of our atmosphere. It's a huge percentage of our atmosphere is nitrogen. And these plants can take it up through their leaves uh, or somewhere through the plant. 
and then they take it down into the ground, into the soil, and they make these uh, nitrogen nodules, which add nitrogen to the ground. And nitrogen, if you know anything about plants, is the one thing you need most to make for happy plants, for fertilization. So this tree never needs to be fertilized. It fertilizes itself. In addition to that, it has a surplus and actually fertilizes the ground. So it's a really good plant to plant in um, degraded areas in the tropics. But uh, here, you know, it's uh, in Northern California here. I right hear Lafayette in my garden. I put it next to the house for protection, but it seems to not even need that. It's totally thrived. It's probably gotten hit by frost a few times and lost some leaves, but no big deal. It puts out tons and tons and tons of these seed pods and uh, I absolutely love them. Um, we should have this plant in the nursery for sale. Uh, even from young sizes, it should fruit in three or four years and it grows rather aggressively. It just needs to be out of the, uh, the coldest, gnarliest uh, microclimates. Um, give it lots of sun. It doesn't need any water once it's established. So it's a really good permaculture tree in the sense that, you know, it's not gonna require a lot of input. It's actually going to help got some more seeds here i'm going to eat these are so delicious um it's going to help the surrounding environment by uh fertilizing the soil uh you'll see once these things are opened up they're kind of useless you can't really eat them they're interesting looking but you can't really eat them. they have to be fully closed here's another seed pods right here might as well just collect these uh i'll let the little one get bigger uh, but i'm gonna i'm gonna pig out right now on some ice cream bean uh and uh, what I like to call the uh, cotton candy fruit. Look how pretty that is right there. And that's how I will leave you. GoldenGatePalms.com. Come on down to our nursery. We'll sell you. We'll sell you an ice cream bean tree for your very own backyard.